All right, inside compound. Jeremy always got some pretty decent guns. Um, there's two ways to do these guys. Uh, a lot of people spawn all the way back in the corner here, run inside, and grenade from the corner. Uh, I like to shoot it out if I can, that way I don't have to uh, spend all those grenades. I equip everybody with armor, and everybody is also going to get um, smoke grenades. Everybody has armor. I've got all purple crafted guns. So nobody can say they don't have the uh, enough unis to do this. Oh. And everybody needs smoke grenades. First thing to do, you have to check out who's shooting at you, which is nobody. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to spread my guys out. Nobody's going to shoot at me. If they do shoot at you, don't freak out. Uh, it just means before you move or shoot back, you have to throw a small grenade. Second thing I'm going to do is isolate the two towers from the rest of the defenders. Throw a small grenade about right there should do it. There we go. Now, uh, if you get the two or three towers out of the way, now what can I see? I can see, I want to look for glasses first. All I see is armor. Okay, if all I can see is armor, I'm going to go for medics and recons first. Is that a pair of glasses? Nope. Click. You will likely lose your people. I got really lucky there. Almost had to do a four man raid. But yeah, now I'm just going to start going after the, uh, the medics and the recons.
Yeah, I kind of was uh, taking my time a little bit, and now, I mean, now you got plenty of time for the flag. Uh, if you want to, you can take a melee with the medic. Sometimes, for tougher targets, you really need five guns, and you got to grenade your way in there. But, you know, as long as you have over a minute, you can usually get to the flag however you need to.